Hello everyone. In this video, we will explore how and when to use wildcard characters in the VLOOKUP function in Excel. In Excel, three wildcards are used, asterisk, question mark and tilde. And they are useful when you want to perform searches with partial match. Now asterisk represents any number of characters. Question mark represents a single character and tilde is used to cancel the effects of the other wildcards. Now you will see use of each wildcard character in this video. So watch the video till end. In the VLOOKUP function, the last parameter is used to find an approximate or exact match. We use true for approximate match and false for exact match. Now let's see why approximate match parameter is not a good choice to perform a search. Now suppose we need sales for an employee whose name is Dinesh. Now if we use false for exact match, VLOOKUP function will search for the Dinesh and will return the sales value of Dinesh. But if I use a partial name, then function will search for DI value, which is not available in any of the cell. VLOOKUP will return hash and error. If we use true in the last parameter, VLOOKUP function will search for the text that is closest to but not greater than alphabetically. If I search for the full name, VLOOKUP will return the correct value. But if I use the partial name, then VLOOKUP will not return the correct value. To resolve this problem and to perform partial match using VLOOKUP function, we will use wildcard character. Now in cell E5, type equals to VLOOKUP open bracket Lookup value is in cell E4, so select E4, press F4, M person, and in double quotes, type asterisk sign as a wildcard character, comma, select the range from A2 to B10, press F4, comma, column number 2, comma, type false, closing bracket, and press enter. VLOOKUP will return the, the corresponding sales value. Now change the name and the sales value will change accordingly. In this example, we have some code and corresponding values. In this case, we will use wildcard question mark. So in cell E5, type equals to VLOOKUP open bracket. Now select cell E4 ampersand and in double quotes, type hyphen and question mark comma select the range from A2 to B10, press F4, comma, to comma, false, closing bracket and press enter. Now remember, we have used question mark, hence it will use only data where only single character is available after hyphen. If I will use asterisk sign, then it will return any number of characters and thus it will return the first matching code. So this is the difference between asterisk and question mark wildcard character. If I use three question marks after hyphen, then it will return the value where three characters are available after hyphen. Wildcard tilde is used to cancel the impact of other two wild characters, asterisk and question mark. Now, for example, in our data set, we have Saurabh and Saurabh star available and I need value of Saurabh star. Now, first, let's see what will happen if I use asterisk sign. So in cell E5, type VLOOKUP open bracket, select cell E4 m person type asterisk sign in double quotes comma select the range from a2 to b10 comma 2 comma 
false closing bracket and press enter it will return 425 so in this case VLOOKUP will return the value of first SORUP now to cancel the effect of asterisk we will use tilde wildcard before asterisk sign press enter and now it will return the value of SORUP star instead of SORUP so this is how you can effectively use wildcard characters within the VLOOKUP function to enhance your searches in Excel. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.